Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a huge makeup haul. These are some things that I got in the mail over the last week or so from some companies and then I also placed an order on Sephora's website. So if you guys wanna see all of the goodies that I've accumulated, then just keep watching. All right, to start off, I placed an order on Sephora.com and I really wanted a Chanel fragrance and I've never owned one. So finally, I bit the bullet and I purchased one. So this is the Chanel Gabrielle fragrance and this is the largest size so it is the 3.4 it was kind of expensive it was 138 dollars but i just love this scent so much someone actually returned it at my sephora and we don't carry chanel so i smelled it and i fell in love so i had to get it and it's one of those fragrances that lasts on your body throughout the day so this is what it looks like it is so bougie and beautiful and i don't know how to describe this scent i would say it smells like you're definitely worth a million dollars. Like it smells like you are rich, like you have some money, you are fancy and you wear fur coats. I don't know, I don't know any other way to describe this, but I'm obsessed with this scent. If you guys haven't smelled the Gabrielle, I would definitely recommend, and Scott loves this too, so that's always a plus. So I got this. I also got a new foundation. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation, and I got it in the shade 2N2 Linen. I am wearing this today, and I've been trying it out for the last week or so. I do like it, but I don't find that it's like amazing. I find that it kind of sits into my lines, which is unfortunate. It's a little bit dark for me, but it ends up working. It matches my body pretty well. Um, I'm going to have to let you guys know how I like this. I'm going to keep using it. It does create a very flawless finish, but I do notice that it sinks into my lines a little bit. So I would say this is like medium to full coverage, definitely more of a natural finish, and we shall see about this one. Okay, the next two items I got from Sol de Janeiro. They sent this to me free for review from Octoly and Sol de Janeiro. So the first thing is the Samba Foot Fetish Care. So this is includes smoothing, board, and fast-absorbing non-slip foot fetish cream. So I've talked about this fragrance so many times on my channel, but I love the scent of the Sol de Janeiro. So it smells like pistachio, vanilla, caramel it's a very sweet scent and they have a foot fetish cream which I don't take care of my feet as much as I should I've said that before but I really don't so we have this cream right here and I already used it and it made my skin really hydrated on my feet so I have this and then it also comes with a really cute little surfboard which is like a scraper for your feet it's like kind of gross but, but kind of cool at the same time. So a little surfboard that has like the grit on the other side. So you scrub your feet first and then you put this on top and you have silky soft feet. So I'm going to link this down below if you haven't seen this, if you haven't smelled it, it smells delicious. I also have the hand cream from Sol de Janeiro and I really wanted this just to complete my collection. I will link this down below as well, but this stuff smells just the same. It smells like the pistachio and caramel, very sweet and very hydrating. So I'm glad that I have the hand cream and the foot cream and the body cream. It's going to be super soft and my whole body is gonna smell so delicious. Okay, the next thing I have is from Becca Cosmetics. I will link this down below. I got this free for review from Becca and Octoly. So this is the ultimate lip definer and I got it in the shade Fearless. So they came out with a bunch of new lip liners, which I'm really excited about because I feel like brands don't make too many lip liners. So this one looks like this. They have a bunch of other shades as well, but this one is like a nudie brown. It has one side that you can smudge it and then the other side is the pencil and it is a retractable pencil but it's a perfect like nude brown and I'm really excited about this because all I wear on my lips are like nude browns and pinks. So I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this. I like how easily it glides on and I love the color payoff. So I will let you guys know how I like this. I'm probably going to love it, but I haven't used it on my lips yet. But I really do wanna get more of these just because I don't have too many lip liners. I think I have like three lip liners that I wear total and I probably have like 15, but I need a lot more. Okay, Buxom sent me the sweetest package and I don't know if you guys know this, but Buxom has my favorite lip glosses ever. And I was just talking about their company the other day and I got one package a long time ago of a Buxom lip product and I was so excited and so happy but I haven't received a package from them in a really long time and when I got this I literally screamed I was so excited and so happy so they sent me all of their new lip products so I'm going to show you a few Buxom seriously you won't find a better gloss than Buxom so I'll show you a couple of them. They are the full-on plumping lip creams, and I have them all right here. They're all kind of like vacation colors and vacation names. So we have 
Seychelles Breeze, Dolly Daiquiri, Mykonos Sunrise, Havana Punch, and I think we have more, let me see. They also sent me the blushes, which I'm so excited about. We have Goa Gimlet, Ibiza Balm, and I think that's it for the lips. So let me do a couple of swatches. I've been wearing this one. This one is Seychelles Breeze, and it is a really pretty nude, and I just love these glosses. I'll put a little on just so we can see it, but I'm obsessed. I think this is the best formula of a gloss. It makes your lips look so plump, so full, and it has a minty feeling to it. So it's like very refreshing. So I highly recommend these. I'm so happy with this. Um, let me do another swatch just so we can see a different one. This one is Mykonos Sunrise. I'm gonna bring these on vacation with me. So this one's a bright one. So it's like a bright coral pink. And I'll do a little swatch on my hand. I like that these are a little bit more sheer, so you're not going to get the full color payoff. But I like that it's a little bit less bright. So that one is Mykonos Sunrise. And I just love these. I'm obsessed. Definitely get your hands on these if you can. We also have the blushes in here, which I've never tried the blushes. But they sent me all of them, I believe. So I have six in here. So they're called the Wonderless Primer Infused Blushes and they look like this. I'm going to open this one. This one is in Seychelles. So I think there's one that go with every single gloss. They have the same names and this is the packaging on it and this is the color. So this one's more of like a light bronzy taupey pink. Let me do a little swatch so we can see it but I like that this is infused with a primer so it's going to be long lasting. This one actually looks perfect for me because I love a natural blush. I don't really gravitate towards the brighter blushes on my skin tone. I like more of a natural everyday blush. So that looks like it's going to be perfect. Let me do one more that's a little bit bright. I'll do Ibiza because this one looks like it's going to be a bright pink. This one looks like this and I'll do a swatch. They feel very soft too. Okay, so that one right there is Ibiza. Maybe on vacation I can wear that with like a nice tan, but I do gravitate more towards the natural colors. So that was from Buxom. Thank you so much to them for sending that over to me. I literally almost cried. All right, we are nowhere close to being done. The next package I have is from The Bomb Cosmetics, and they sent me this really cute package. It's called What's the Tea? I love their packaging. They always do really cute and unique things. So this first one here says, what's the tea? Hot tea eyeshadow palette with warm shades. Look at this packaging. It is so adorable. It literally looks like tea. And you have nine shadows, 27 swatches, endless possibilities. So basically there is like an eyelid primer in the palette that can change the colors of the shadows. So this is the outside of the packaging. And then on the inside, they're all in the shape of tea, how cute. And then you have a eyelid primer, you have a light one, a neutral one, and then a black one. So they can literally change these colors to be different shades. I thought that was so unique. They did send me double of the palettes, which was really sweet as well, whether that's going towards a giveaway or giving to a friend, but I just love this packaging. I can't get over it. And I'll show you how the colors change. So they change with the eyelid primer, which is so unique. All right, next we have a package from CoverGirl. So this is their new mascara. So they sent over a cute little case and they sent me over two mascaras. This is called the CoverGirl Exhibition Mascara. So we have the original and then we have a waterproof one as well. I'll show you the brush because it looks really nice. It's a nice big fluffy brush and it kind of reminds me of the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced just with the wand size and the shape. So I'm going to be trying this out and I will let you guys know how I like this. I'm in need of a new mascara because the ones I'm using right now I don't love. So I'm going to be trying this one out and I will keep you guys updated. The next package I have is from Pixie and Pixie again, their packages are so cute just like the bomb. So you open this up. And you get a couple of different things in here. We have two big eyeshadow palettes, and then we have this case right here that has brushes in it. So I'm gonna show you what one of them looks like. 
because the quality seems really nice. I'm very impressed. This, this is drugstore. You can find it at Target. So this one is called Reflex Light. And this whole package kind of smells like paint to me, but I love the smell of paint. I'm weird, so I really like it. But this is what the first one looks like. And this one is a bronzy warm palette. Those are the shades right there. And I'll do a couple of swatches so you can see this pigmentation, but it is really, really nice. So this one is a copper. And I will do it right here. It's crazy pigmented. So that one's a really nice burnt orange copper color. And then I will do a gold. This one's like a true yellow gold. Really pretty as well. And that right there is the gold. So it definitely has some color payoff and I can't wait to play with this a little bit more. I haven't used this on my eyes. The only thing I will say is I wish that this came with matte shades as well. This is all shimmer in one palette, which I don't love, but the other palette they have, they do have a couple of mattes. So I'll show you that one too. If I can get it out of the box. Palette. This other one is called Natural Beauty and this one's more of a cool palette. So it looks like this and it does have some matte shades in it, which look really nice. They look like great transition shades, but I wish that other one had transition shades too. We also have a case in here, which is super cute. It's like a rubber feeling. And then there are three brushes in here, which I've never tried Pixie brushes. So that's what that one looks like. Thank you to Pixie for sending that over to Next, me. I got a little gift from my friend Michaela, which was really sweet of her. This is from Way Hair Care and Summer Fridays. And I love this mask. I already have three of them. That's how much I love it. So I have a mini little mask in here, as well as a hair treatment from Way, which I have not tried. And then this little head wrap, which says, Chillin' Out Maskin' Relaxin' tongue twister, but this is what it looks like. So I'm actually going to bring this on vacation with me because I feel like these are the perfect travel sizes for my vacation. So thank you to Michaela for giving this to me. So the next one is from Carity and their logo is Beauty Without Limits. They sent over their new matte liquid lipsticks. So package here with like eight or 10 liquid lipsticks. I'm going to show you a couple of them. These are all matte and they're all unique shades. So those are all the shades right there. And I'm gonna do a couple of swatches just so we can see them. I don't know if I would wear some of these just because they're so bright and out of my comfort zone, but this one is called All Night Long. And this one is a nice neutral brown. I do have a coupon code with Carity as well, and they're very affordable. I think they're only $7.99. So that one right there is called All Night Long. Really pretty, definitely my kind of color. Let's do In The 212. They do tape both sides, so it's a little bit hard to get out. This one is like a dark, rich brown. It would actually probably go with what I'm wearing right now. Whoa, this is super dark. But that one's called In The 212. Let's do a fun one. This one's called Matcha Gracias. So this is a green, a green liquid lipstick. A little wild. This is something I would never wear, but it is unique. So it's like a true like grass earth green. And I'll do a swatch of this one. Whoa. So that is what matcha gracias looks like. I don't love it, but I'm sure someone is going to love that color. So thank you to Carity for sending me over this box. I can't wait to use the more neutral natural colors, but it is fun that you included some bright ones too. This is the very last thing that I got. This is from Kaja, and this is the Kaja Roller Glow. I did include this in one of my vlogs, but this is the Roll On Highlighting Balm, and it came in a cute paint can. How adorable is this? Like That is very innovative and unique. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what the highlighter looks like. So inside you get a cute little case, which is the highlighter, and then you get a roller. So let me show you what it looks like. It's so adorable, I love the packaging. You open it up and you do get another roller, and then you pull it to the side, and this is the highlighter. This highlighter looks stunning. I don't recommend using the roller to apply it because there isn't that much pigment that picks up. But I'm gonna swatch the highlighter with my finger because I feel like the warmth of your finger really makes it pigmented. And this almost has like pink in it. It's like pink golden. I'm gonna swatch it right here. 
yeah that's like pink golden and yellow i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but it is really really pretty let me put it on my other hand just so we can see a better swatch of it it is stunning it's like a perfect golden sunset color and i think that's going to be great for summer you can see the pink in it but you can see the yellow and gold too it's super super pretty so that was everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.